Oops. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> we were talking to ourselves the entire time. <laughs> you guys. But thanks for who sent a text. My sweet dear husband just texted me <laughs> and said, asked me if we're having trouble. And I'm like, no, we've been vibing for like <laughs> eight minutes. <laughs> We, we put, just we put it live. on schedule and we thought that it will go live automatically. Sorry, people, our first live, bear with us. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, let's start it. Hi. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to our very first live. <laughs> no, we literally just were having a full live. Well, um, it was a nice test run then. <laughs> okay, yeah, we we had it scheduled and there was even a cute little countdown. You guys didn't see any of that. And then we just assumed it was going to go live by itself, but you still, turns out you still have to hit the button. So here we are now. Let's just see. Let's, can we just get some confirmation in the chat that you guys are seeing us now and everything? Hello, Debbie. And Bailey. Hi, Danielle. Danielle. Alex can is we there? just get a little comment in the <laughs> chat that you guys are seeing us now? <laughs> That's funny. We just talked to ourselves the entire time. That's actually a, the perfect start to our Yeah, it's like, br life. like break the ice, right? Here we go. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we see you now. Dewey. <laughs> we are out here doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Alex, for texting us because we probably would have done the whole like presentation without knowing that we weren't live. But here we are. All right. So I am going to back it up a little bit. <laughs> We're the ladies from Vintage Hip Decor. If you don't already know us, I'm Carla. And I'm Amanda. We're a mother-daughter team. And we have some home decor questions that we're going to get through tonight. Um, we asked for some questions over on our Instagram stories and over here on YouTube to see what home decor questions that you have for mm -hmm. us. Um, and yeah, we have, uh, we have some answers to your questions. <laughs> So let's begin again. <laughs> wow. Okay. So our very first question comes from Debbie, who is actually here hanging out in the chat. And Debbie's question was, how do you put together a cohesive style in a room, but then also throughout your whole home? And we were almost done wrapping up the answer to this question <laughs> when we realized we weren't even live. Um, but yeah basically so yeah mm -hmm. so i was saying that um you know you naturally gravitate to colors that you love um like colors that you would pick out for your clothing maybe like you said yeah. if you go into a store and you see like a rack full of t-shirts whatever mm -hmm. you gravitate naturally towards the colors that you love and so you can still use those to a certain degree in your decor in your home styling yeah um Room or entire house, right? Yes. So, yeah, I was saying how, mm -hmm. like, when you, you know, we all, like, walk into a store and there's that, like, that big table of T-shirts they always have in the, the, the front of the store. And, you know, you always gravitate, gravitate towards, like, the same colors. I know I do. I'm always, always, like, white, like, blush pink or, like, dark green. Those are the ones I always pick out. What colors do you mm -hmm. always go for on like the t-shirt? Yes, table? I also go for white and black and yeah, and also neutrals. also blush and like the purples and the lighter greens. And those are all colors that you use in your home decor. Yes. And same same goes with me. Like I wear like cream and white and green. Um, Danielle says she always goes for teal. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. is also a good place to start with like kind of what what colors do you naturally gravitate towards? Because then you can take those colors and you can try and create a color palette for your home um, to try and like have everything gel together because a color palette is really going to make a space feel cohesive because you pretty much don't let any color come through your door that isn't in your color palette <laughs> with some flexibility, of course, like, you know, if you have a, a little girl at home and she wants a hot pink bedroom you know there's a, a time and a season for that in yes, life you gotta give her the hot pink room mm -hmm. time in the season but like yeah if you can try and put together a color palette of colors that you naturally gravitate towards and this in our example here on the screen there's the one in the middle especially that's like eight different colors so that doesn't mean that you need to try and achieve and put eight different colors in every single room of your house 
you're actually going to have that be your overall home color palette. And then just try and do like four or five of those in a room with some overlapping so that they all kind of work together as a whole, but you're mixing it up for each individual room. Yes. And kind of playing around with the color palette and color palette. You don't have to like pick these colors out of thin air for yourself either. We said, you know, you can kind of look at some of the colors that you gravitate towards and that you wear. But you can also go online, like Danielle said, she always gravitates towards teal. Mm -hmm. Then you can like go online and you can say teal color palette and it'll automatically bring up a bunch of color palettes that were created and generated over the years. And then you can see like what goes with it, you yes. know? And it, like we have kind of teal on the screen here off to the side right here. Yeah. So it obviously they paired it with like a lighter blue and a cream and a dark navy and then this kind of burnt orange color. Yeah. But if you don't, if burnt orange isn't your thing, then you keep searching through the color palettes until you see something that you yeah. like. But go with something with a lot of variety and dimension to it. Yeah. And when it comes to, you know, home styling and the design, Pinterest is your best friend. Absolutely. You just put in the search bar, you yes. know, color palettes and gazillions will pop up and you can browse through there until something cut, you know, catches your eye and, yes. and um, they even have the name of the colors. And so you have that printed out for yourself and yeah. then, you know, you have it handy when, when, when you want to paint your bath, your bathroom, go yeah. for this, what's simply white. And yeah. then, Add other, other accent colors from, you know, the palette that's already chosen by you previously. Yeah. So make a little, like a folder for yourself. Yes. You know? Yeah. Um, but the one thing that we will kind of um, say to try and avoid is like just picking two colors. Yeah. That's not enough colors <laughs> because it's just going to be feel one dimensional it's just going to be the same thing in every room yeah. and it's not going to, you know, like we're complex people. Like we like layers of yes. color. Um, so definitely try and pick a minimum four. Yes. But the more, the better. I wouldn't yeah. well, actually, the more, the better. There's obviously a maximum. <laughs> There's yeah. like an amount you probably is like way too much color. Yeah. But try and do like, you know, um, like similar hues, like this one on the side is good because it's three different blues, a uh, kind of bluish gray the cream and then the orange, you know, you kind of, and even this one has like the darker blue, the lighter blue, the darker green, the lighter green, and then the three different whites, creamy whites, like more beigey, more white, white, and then a graphite, you know, and then kind of find a way to stitch that throughout your home. Can you do different color palettes for like different rooms? So say now you did pick this one for your bedroom. Can you do like a whole different color palette for your other rooms in your, in the other rooms of your, um, say like, because I like the red for my kitchen, would yeah. that be okay? Or is it better to get one big color palette and like you said, for that cohesive yeah. look? If, if your aim is cohesive, I mean, it's you and your own home. If you want to have a whole different experience, each room that you go into, then that's your prerogative and what you've chosen for the vibe for your house. Yeah. You know? Um, but if you are wanting a cohesive overall look and feel for your entire house, then your colors are going to have to be able to kind of be seen from other rooms and still kind of go together. Okay. So then do like a neutral, like palette for the entire house and then do all the different colors, maybe in different rooms yeah. or some of, or some, or all of the colors in all of the rooms. Like, I mean, I don't mean like 10 colors. Yeah. I mean, like when you've narrowed it down to like four yeah. or six colors. Yeah. Debbie said, um, great starting point. I get overwhelmed thinking about a design and having a starting point is so helpful. Yeah. Like definitely starting with a color palette yes. and then you could take it um, another step further and you can actually create yourself a mood board. This is something that I created for myself. You're looking at my mood board right now. I decorate with a lot of like black and white. And then my big main accent color is emerald. So I have that in my bedroom and in my living room, but I don't have it in my bathroom. Like you don't have to bring it into every single room. 
But then I also like to incorporate creams and then I have a little bit of a light mint that kind of shows up in small, small ways. You don't want every color to be represented equally. You kind of want to pick a few main colors and then a couple smaller like follow-up colors. Um, Cause you'll see even in the bottom left corner of this, I have like a little bit of a blush pink that shows yes. up in small ways um, through certain decor. But like a mood board is more than just a color palette. Now you can kind of choose textures. So I've incorporated a lot of wood tones. I have that chunky knit blanket. I know I'm obsessed with brass hardware. So I threw that in there and then plants. But there are things that I use in my home that aren't represented on this. Like I also use a lot of antique copper and I have like a lot of baskets and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. But it's all about like layering textures and having a little bit of each of those things represented in each room, but all of it does not need to be represented in every single room so that it kind of flows a little bit, but there's variety still. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Danielle says this is Carla written all over it. Yeah. If you walk inside my house, this is what it looks like. And, Dave, and Jewy, AKA David, AKA Jewy, <laughs> he's saying that that's a very nice contrast with the wood and the chunky blanket over yeah. there. Yeah, and like you can even mix up wood tones. Like I have two different wood tones here. Like definitely layering and doing like dimension and everything is the way to go with yes. like creating something that's cohesive, but that all still work together. And you, this is one that I created, but you can find a lot already pre-made online. Exactly. You can look them up and you can mm -hmm. find them and you can just pick and choose you can go around and look at different existing mood boards and you can say, wow, like I really like that element of that one, but I don't like that. But I, and I do like that. You can kind of pick and choose. And then you don't have to have physical items and lay them on the ground and take a picture like these. You yes. can do what I did. Oops. Spoilers for later. <laughs> you can Spoilers. do what I did where I just took pictures from online and kind of grouped them together digitally um, instead of having to have like little physical representations of the different textures and tile and like all the different layers that go into like creating a cohesive look. But yeah, you can kind of decide like this is what I'm aiming for ideally in my home. Yes. And I'm not sure if we said this when everybody was already live with us or <laughs> did we say that when nobody was here yet? Yeah. But um, when we were doing our own private live, but nobody was invited <laughs> to what? So um, I was making the point that, um, you know, for home decor and for, for um, styling your home, Pinterest is really your best friend. Yes. And like putting the search bar color palettes, putting yes. the search bar, uh, you know, mood boards. Yes. And Print out the ones that you love and yes. make a folder. Yes. Collect it all somewhere for yourself digitally and draw inspiration from that. And then keep it in mind when you go shopping, when you're choosing things to bring into your home and decide if it goes, if it, if it looks good, if it exactly. all gels together. Your, uh, trust, your, trust your eye. Yeah. Because you will definitely gravitate to the colors and even the textures that you personally love because it's your home it's and at the home. end of the day you have to look at it you have to love it you want to surround you yourself with things that you love yes that you want to see every single day that brings up like happy emotions or cozy emotions or yes key. absolutely you have to feel cozy in your own home uh, absolutely david's saying <laughs> thrifty thirsty thursdays <laughs> because of um <laughs> my drinking uh, and, we're, and we're thrifty ladies i'm loving that yes, hashtag cheers, cheers. <laughs> are you guys enjoying uh, any beverages tonight mm -hmm. what are you guys doing where are you watching from most of us are from new jersey which is where we're from <laughs> <laughs> um all right so we can move on to another question this one actually comes from danielle who is also hanging out in the chat thank you for submitting your question danielle danielle is my sweet dear friend <laughs> And she's a very sentimental person, very sentimental person. She's very precious. So her question was, as a sentimental person, how can I display things that are important to me, but also have beautiful decor that's appealing to the eye? Good and question. that's like a really great question. And I'm going to tell you right now that bookcases are going to be your friend. 
bookcases are going to be your friend because I love sentimental items too. Mm -hmm. I especially like, obviously there are sentimental um, items that were like gifted to you or they were heirlooms. They were handed down to you or something, but there's also sentimental um, items for like when you go on vacation and you yes, go to trips. a gift store and you mm -hmm. buy yourself something from the gift store to remember the trip. So I always try and aim for items that are going to be useful and like sentimental items that are useful, like a mug, so like something you can physically use that mm -hmm. has a purpose in your home. It's not just a thing. Yes. And you don't even it's have to use stuff. it for a coffee mug as such. If you, you use it as a pen cup, pen cup, <laughs> <laughs> we have some of those around mm -hmm. the house or a flower, little flower pot. This is yes. not a coffee cup. This is not a coffee cup, but you I can mean, stick a little plant. In. Yes. We stick you gotta plants. do the little like YouTuber thing where they stick their hand behind oh, it so it yeah. auto focuses. No, it yeah. just stayed focused on your face the whole time. So that's you know a little tip that you can do with something. Say now you know somebody gave you that and you yes. and you really love it and you can use it as a little planter or yeah any sentimental things that you have. Try and find things that are practical and useful that you can incorporate in your everyday life without even having to have it be set aside and precious and never touched. And then you but mix then, it in with your other yeah. decor. But like then the, these bookcases are yeah beautiful so if it's not a useful item that you can incorporate in your everyday life where you're physically using that item then you can use it just as decor on a bookshelf so especially a big bookshelf with lots of things on it it won't stick out as like well what is that <laughs> it doesn't go with the rest of your decor it'll like kind of blend in a lot more naturally when you have books and other decor and then your sentimental items mixed in yes so yeah trying Try and, um, you know, take the things that are useful and stick them around your house and where you can use them. Try and incorporate the more decor, like not re can't really use this practically things in a bookcase. But then for things, other things, like you can store them nicely in a tote and then make a date for yourself when you're going to go and take those items out and kind of enjoy them and look through it. If you're a sentimental person, then you're going to love going through the photo album or the tote with the the memories in it and then it can be a kind of like a special little appointment that you set up for yourself like every six months or something you go and you sit with a glass of wine and you open the tub and you you remember the good times or like go and exactly enjoy all those items Reminisce. so they don't all have to be displayed in your home all the time you can also rotate them out and everything yes i remember in the olden days or some people might still do it where they have a special curio cabinet where they put in you yeah. know and maybe we've moved away from that particular look yeah uh you know uh to keep it current and trendy then you know do it this way we incorporate it with books or other home decor yeah. pieces yeah danielle saying she's already she already has a nice bookshelf in her new home yes they do they have cool. really nice bookshelves cool um there's one at the base of her stairs that i really like and she's got really beautiful arches in her home too nice so then our next question comes from tanya who asks what made us decide to start this youtube channel this youtube channel <laughs> We've always had it on the back burner all through our business years, right? Yeah. We always was saying to each other, like, we should get to, you know, our YouTube channel. We should add videos. We should do this. We should yeah. do that as part of our social media, you know, network. Yeah. But when we had the shop, there was zero time. Yeah. Zero time to make videos. So those of you who may not know, my mom and I, we started this business eight years ago, which is actually a question that's More coming up I later. 2012 we started that's more than eight years wow. i think so it was nine in march then yeah nine years ago mm -hmm. in march <laughs> we started this business together uh in our backyard painting furniture and painting furniture um evolved into selling it locally in like local um antique shops and stuff in, in like a booth and mm -hmm. online on etsy and then we had our own shop for six, six seven years, years, six and a half years. Yeah. And we actually happened to close it right before COVID. Like we decided to close it and then COVID happened. We literally closed our doors on March 15th. So it was really great timing. We were very blessed to have had that happen. Yes. So when we had the store, we, we definitely were way too busy um, 
in our schedule to be able to produce content. So then when we moved home and we were quarantined, everybody was staying home. We were doing a lot of like deep diving and like reflecting on what direction we want to go, what we want to do, making business decisions. And we just naturally were like, we could we share have time for the channel. <laughs> yeah, we could share our love for home decor online, have it reach so many more people than we were able to reach just locally with our shop. Um, we're passionate about home decor. We love teaching home decor. Um, so it kind of, kind of, yeah, naturally evolved because I have, I actually started making videos. And if you want to see some of the first videos oh. <laughs> that I made, um, on our Instagram, on our IGTV, there are a couple of videos. They're not even all about home decor. Like one I made about like Mother's Day. The other one I made about the 4th of July. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah Do you remember yeah. those? One yes. I made about the shop. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like definitely dabbling in making videos and stuff. And we put some of those early videos on our YouTube channel just randomly back in like 2017. But then we decided that uh, we were going to really give it a go. And we have been loving it. It's been a very special year and yes. two months on YouTube, putting out a video every other week. We eventually started doing YouTube shorts. So we actually put out a video every Oh, excuse me. A little, a little wine burp. <laughs> we actually put out a video every week now. Yes. Um, we want to start doing more YouTube lives, which we think would be fun. And um, we do like, you know, love doing all the makeovers. Kind of forgot what my point was. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're out here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Hope that answers your question, Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I had a point, but I totally forgot what it was. <laughs> it's totally fine. If it comes back to me, then it comes back to me. <laughs> um, but our next home decor based question is how to mix de home decor trends, which is also a really great question. So, um, there are like, here actually, I kind of pulled up some of like the current some of the current trends, there are of course a lot and they come, some come in hot and like die out really quick. Some really stick along around for a long time. Some things like people these think very are classic and yeah. can go a long, long way. Yeah. What you're showing on the screen here yeah. now. And that's, that's what I wanted to say. Some things people think are a trend, but it's like, no, this is actually like really classic. Like black and white penny tile in a bathroom. Yeah. That's something that some people might not realize. Like it seems like trendy, like what's happening now, but that has yeah. been being put in buildings since like exactly. the twenties, even the, um, the nineteen the tiles, not the 20s, the backsplash tiles, the, um, subway tiles. subway tiles. Yes. Those are also very, um, classic and they will never go out of style yes. ever. There's a few things like that. That's yeah. That are classic. And it's very important to like let your your foundation be that. The classic the stuff. The classic stuff. You Absolutely. Know? And then you can always, as the trends come and go, you can add and take away. You yes. Know? So the way to incorporate trends in your home and how to mix different trends would be to have your big pieces, your staples, your more expensive items like your sectional, um, like your headboard, like um, what are like other expensive items that people invest in in their homes? Couches are a big one. Rugs. Rugs. Beautiful rugs. But, but those you can switch out, but still, you know. Um, and then you keep your more trendy stuff for like throw pillows, pillows and decor and, and baskets accents. And, and yeah. Those are the things that are yeah. much easier to kind of swap out. Yeah. Uh, and actually a good way to swap things out is um, to just sell them. And then you have the money again to go buy a new basket. You know, like if you're bass, if you are kind of over a basket, we're kind of going through this to some degree where um, some of our home decor tastes are changing. You know, like I definitely have a couple things in totes from a while ago that I don't really enjoy anymore, but mm -hmm. are still perfectly fine and useful. And yes. you can, you can just like, try and like post that on Facebook marketplace, make five bucks. And then you can take that $5 yeah. and go and buy something new and kind of fresh for your home. So that's how you kind of do it. You make all of your staples, your big expensive items, your more classic things that'll never go out of style. And then you kind of filter in 
do trend more trendy stuff in less expensive ways. But yeah, like pompous grass is really big right now. That's what we're looking at on the screen. Those like large mirrors. I personally would love one of those huge mirrors. Yes, me too. They're and so pretty. I don't like any of my mirrors at the moment anymore. <laughs> <laughs> really? You have no. some really pretty mirrors. No, I want I want I want simple like this. I like, yeah, like this modern. Just the well, gold frame. Then you might have to sell a mirror. Yes, generate sell, all some money. <laughs> sell all of them and bring in the new. <laughs> bring in the new. All right, so our next question is, how can I make my small bathroom look cute? Um, and we all, I, I'm like, who almost, almost like who doesn't have a small bathroom? Like, even if you have a big home, or a you still have that one powder, powder bathroom that's yeah. just basically a toilet and a sink um, for the most part. So it is very common for small, for bathrooms to be small. And the advice is definitely going to be to use the walls in order to decorate a small bathroom. So you can see that there's something going on in the walls in all three of these example pictures that we picked up. You can do shiplap in the entire room. You can do wallpaper. Fun, wall, fun wallpaper. How cute is that? You definitely want to use the walls for shelves and storage uh, if you can. Um, but you can also do fun pattern on the floor on the two pictures and the two pictures where you can see the floor over here. There's that like hexagon tile down here. And then this really pretty like, I don't know if that one has a name, but I have seen that pattern before. Yeah, that's very cute. My tip would be the smaller the bathroom or the smaller the space, the less things you want in there. Yeah. Keep it, you know, minimalistic and simple. Yeah. Um, and then also... I mean, this bathroom in the middle ha is blessed enough to have a window. That's a, that's a um, nice. But a lot of bathrooms don't have windows. And if it's a very dark space, you can either do two things. You can have, you can try and lighten the space. And that's when you are going to try and take all of the finishes and have them be brighter. So you're going to paint a brighter color on the wall. You're going to choose a lighter color for your vanity. You're going to try, try and choose something lighter for the floor. Or you can lean moody and you can do a dark color on the wall. A lot of people don't realize that if it's a small bathroom with no window, like you could never paint a dark like uh, color on the wall, but you absolutely can. And it creates like a, a moody vibe when you go into that small bathroom. Gonna vibe. I'm going to vote for light and bright, but I've seen dark. I've seen yeah. like dramatic, like wallpaper and stuff. Should I see if I can try and find some like pretty moody um, bathrooms small, real quick? Small bathrooms. Oops. Oh, that's the microphone. I should not be touching that. <laughs> um, so mo let's type in moody bathroom and see what comes up. And we can bring this over for everyone to look. So this is like very moody. All of a sudden it got very dark. But yeah, you can see here, like you can go very dark and moody with it. Mm. It's definitely a thing. But it has to be your thing in order to yes. incorporate it into your home. Not everybody. And there's ways like this pink bathroom here. That's kind of moody without it being black. A lot of these are like, for some reason, brought up a lot of very dark green or black, mm -hmm. um, but you, there are other colors that, you know, you can still go moody with. Yes. Let's see nice. what's more questions. <laughs> Danielle said she kinda, kind of loves it, is mm -hmm. into the moody bathroom. Yes. Um, so then, yeah, our last question we kind of answered earlier, and that was how long we've been working together in this business. Oh, yes. Since from Linda. 2012. We've always gone like thrifting and market, you know, vintage markets and mm -hmm. antique shops together and yeah. buying home decor items for our own home. Yes. And then um, we watched the Nate Burke show, remember? And then there was Miss Mustard Seed that showed the painting yeah. techniques. And like, we, oh, we'll paint a dresser for Carla's bedroom. And yeah. then from there, it just, just took off. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have enjoyed working together for, what did we say? It was nine years? Nine years. I can't yeah. believe it's nine. I've had the number like seven and eight in my head for so long. I guess we were like <laughs> home for a year, so I didn't think about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, mm -hmm. why did life stop for a year? Nobody knows. No, that's 
pants. I'm sorry. That was not. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's pretty much answers all our questions. So if anybody has any other questions in the chat, we're happy to answer them, but no pressure. I mean, we hope um, that you enjoyed our little live stream. Um, we're so sorry that we weren't here for the first eight minutes. <laughs> my mom and I were having a private live show here in my living room. Really thought that it was just automatically gonna start. Could have yes. double checked, but you know, nerves. <laughs> yeah, and I just want to say for people that might find our live because it will be pinned on our YouTube channel, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching this after the fact, then yeah. don't be shy to still pop some questions in the comment box. Yes, we trying to reply to every single one of our comments. Um, so anytime you have a question, or if you would love like for us to make a video about a particular topic. Yes, we're all, always open for like, yeah, topics, right? Yeah, we would love to hear from you on like what videos you would love to see us create, um, what home decor questions you have. Um, we have some fun makeovers coming up in our own home that we're excited to share with you. A big announcement coming soon. Um, but yeah, we um, and we want to do more lives if you're into it. Yes, this could. <laughs> probably take over like the whole design dilemma little segment yes. that we used to have on yeah on instagram yeah and if you um are an instagrammer if you're somebody who hangs out on instagram you can definitely find us there we try and post in stories we do some instagram reels um yes. we had fun doing a really silly instagram reel yesterday <laughs> which I, we're actually going to post on youtube tomorrow so yeah we're really um grateful for for those of you who did come out to watch us live, but any of you also in watching in the replay, we really appreciate it, of course. Uh huh. David says that they have a patio that can really use some furniture out there. We actually low key may have a little patio video <laughs> coming at some time yes. in the future. So Wheels. that might be some ins the inspiration that you're looking for. Yes. Um, so keep a lookout for that. But yeah, anything else we wanna add? Uh, that's it. That, that <laughs> awkward silence. We don't know how to end these because we've never done it before. <laughs> we were just out here figuring it out as we go. We should do it. Ne like next time we will uh, definitely, you know, start it appropriately. You know, we can. Things can only go up from here. <laughs> Danielle said we did a good job, and she loved it. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you, and everybody, Debbie for also joining. Said that this is awesome. Thank yes. you guys for coming out. It means a lot. <laughs> yes. It's fun. It's fun, and we'll do some more. Yes. Carla yeah. sometimes on her own. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, mom I don't know if I, I'll join every time, but it's been fun. Yeah, mom Loki doesn't want to do it every time. <laughs> we'll see. And I was thinking we should get dad on the stream. On the well, live. special guests, interviews, <laughs> special guests. Like, if you have any tool questions, we can ask Dad. No, it'll if Dad's on it, it'll just be for fun, for chatting or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. David says we should insert a catchphrase here. Well, I feel like that'll naturally develop, like a catchphrase or like a, yeah. A, a, Hope some you sort see of your house in a new light. <laughs> That's true. I meant to say that at the beginning. Like, we out here trying to help you see your home in a new. light. But, you know, the whole beginning was a hot mess. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you again. Uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of your night. We hope to do this again soon. Um, all right. Signing off. Signing off. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>